This is where our technique differs from others. We separate the axial reduction into two steps. The first step is an axial depth cut. The second step is the subgingival reduction. Let me explain why. I think most of you would agree it is easy to visualize 1.5 millimeters of occlusal reduction. However, unless you're experienced placing zirconia crowns, it's more difficult to visualize the 0.8 millimeters of axial reduction that you'll typically need to seat the crown. By incorporating a second depth cut, the axial depth cut, you will eliminate the guessing and trying the crown on and off multiple times and that will save you valuable chair time. Let's take a look at the Easy Prep 2 Burr, the Axial Depth Cut Burr. The Easy Prep 2 Burr is 0.85 millimeters at the tip. Some of you might be questioning that this two-step technique actually saves time because of the time it takes to change burrs. My comment to you comes from principles of adult crown and bridge preparation. The shape and diamond design of the Easy Prep 2 Depth Cut Burr removes tooth much more quickly than carbides or flame-shaped diamonds. You are doing the bulk of the crown reduction with the fastest cutting burr possible. The few seconds it takes to switch burrs, you will more than make up in how fast you remove the bulk of the tooth structure. Let's take a look at the big picture here. The prefabricated zirconia crown prep is a cylinder. And the quicker you learn to produce the shape repeatedly, the quicker you'll be able to achieve predictable results in less than five minutes. You want to see what I call a racetrack all the way around the tooth. If you do not visually see the racetrack all the way around, the car will fall off and you may not have enough reduction in that area. And trying to figure out where it is under-reduced later will cost you valuable chair time. If you follow this step, it will work every time. The second clinical tip is do not taper the prep. Keep the burr perpendicular to the occlusal surface. Because we're creating a cylinder here, it is not necessary to taper your prep at all. You want to keep your burr perpendicular to the occlusal surface or parallel to the long axis of the tooth. You want to prep to the tissue, but do not go subgingival yet. You will do that in the next step, the subgingival reduction. In this step, you will now complete 